Hello, welcome to today's uh, game against Westwood Wolverines versus Millis. Uh, Millis is coached by Coach Mike and eighth grade is coached by Alan Hamden and assistant by Eric Drager and Mike Mason. And thank you, uh, Matt Bergman, for filming the game, as well as Veniza's Restaurant, who is our sponsor today. So it looks like both teams have some pretty good height. It'll be a good height, of, height match. And both teams' records speak for themselves. They're both very talented. So today's starters for the Wolverines are number 24, Chloe Hicks, number 33, Molly Mason, number 42, Nikki Drager, number 43, Maria Musto, and number 51, Meredith Doherty. Today's starters for Millis is number 52, Brid Bridget, number 20, uh, Caroline P., Number two, Riley. And then I believe, can't see the other two jerseys. Number one, I believe, Julia P. So the ball is just about to be thrown up. Okay, so Westwood wins the tips, and Chloe grabs the ball. Chloe with the shot, oh, just off the rim for Chloe. Subs in. So Chloe comes out of the game, standing ovation for her. So Chloe Hicks attends Thurston Middle School and she would love to attend Boston College when she's older. She plays soccer, volleyball, and lacrosse. And she had elbow surgery earlier this year, so she has not been able to play, but she's been attending every practice and every game. Oh, that was good Euro step, just too strong off the glass. Number two for Millis with the shot, but blocked by number 33 for Westwood. Oh, good drive, good take, foul on Millis, number 20, I believe. That'd be Caroline P. So number 42 for Westwood at the line is Nikki Dreger. Okay, so she misses the first, she has one more left. She also attends Thurston Middle School. This is her sixth year in the WBA. She loves the beach and could surf, boogie board, or just swim in the waves for hours and hours. So here comes Millis going the other way. Oh, good D by Meredith. Good tight D by Meredith, sliding those feet, but number one seems to escape. Number one will be sh for Millis, that is Julia P, will be shooting a pair at the line. Foul on White, 33. That would be Molly Mason. Number one, just off the back rim. She has one more at the line. Shot is up. Oh, Jess rolls out. But Millis grabs the rebound, and they earn themselves another offensive possession. Good ball movement. Good cut. Looks like they're doing pass and cuts. Good solid offense. Travel call, so it'll be Westwood's ball. Looks like Millis is in a 1-3-1. One, one. Oh, good spin move, good spin move. Foul on Westwood 43. That is Marissa Lusto. So Millis is inbounding the ball underneath their own hoop. Westwood's applying some ball pressure. Oh, way to break the press. Okay, now they're running a play. I believe it's called Cyclone. Oh, that was a good cut. Oh, just a little too hard off the glass for number 13 of Millis. Here comes uh, Maria the other way. Meredith with the shot. shot. Just off the yeah, side of the rim. Pick it up. Pick it up. Maria grabs the rebound. Okay. However, it is passed out of bounds and off the fingertips of Maddie Lyons. Subs in for Westwood. 
Number 42, number th 33 come out, and number 44, number 3 come in. Number 3 is Alexis, and number 44 is Victoria. So Westwood's ball pressure is pretty solid. Definitely taking some time for Westwood, not Westwood, sorry, my bad, Millis to break. But Millis is keeping their, their poise. Good help D by Millis, but great ball movement by Westwood. Meredith with the shot, just a little too hard. And now Millis is going the other way. Good defense, way to stop the ball by Meredith. Running Syracuse, Millis is. Oh, that was a good pick. Great ball movement by Millis, lots of picks going on, definitely a difficult thing to stay with. Kicks it back out to number one. Number one dribbles, passes it to number two. Number two with the shot, just off the rim. Looks like it'll be Millis's ball and there will be a sub for Millis. So, so far we have about five minutes and three seconds left in this first quarter. And the score is still 0-0. So Millis gets the ball in bounds. Looks like they're running their offense through the number one, which is Julia P for them. Oh, good pick set. It's gonna be red ball is knocked out of bounds. So Millis will be running stack. Off-white, red ball again. So it looks like they're running two. Millis is, gets the ball in bounds. Good save, but she steps out of bounds. So it's gonna be white ball. So Alexis is bringing the ball up right now. She attends Thurston Middle School. She would love to go to the University of North Carolina. Her sibling named Blake is in sixth grade and Callie is in second grade and they both play in the WBA. A oh, good pivot by number four of Millis, that'd be Maggie. Just a little short of the hoop. Okay, subs in. For Westwood, looks like Meredith and Maria are coming out. And number 30, which is Kate, is in the game as well as number 34, Rory. So it looks like Millis is running two again. Play call. Looks like Westwood is a man. Travel call by the ref, so it's going to be Westwood ball. Westwood's been playing some pretty solid defense, especially in man with all the picks and the cuts that Millis is has been running in their offense. And Millis is playing a 1-3-1, one, one, also known as 13. Oh, just a little too hard off the backboard for that layup by number 13 of Millis. That would be Carolina. Good ball movement by Westwood. Lots of movement. Millis is very good at trapping. They're definitely pressuring the ball a lot. Oh, good take, good take. By number 30 of Westwood, that is Katie. She has a pair at the line. Now Katie's sister plays in fourth grade. Uh, Katie wants to attend Boston College. She also plays soccer and volleyball. She attends Thurston Middle School here in Westwood, just like the rest of these girls. And her all-time favorite movie is High School Musical. That's a good movie. Just off the front of the rim. Good hands by Westwood, getting the ball back. Gotta be smart with your passes, good ball movement. Good cut. Okay, Millis comes up with the ball and Millis is headed the other way. The ball 
thrown a little too far, but Millis was able to track it down. Number one with the layup. The rep. Good rebound by number 33 of Westwood. No, you're fine. You guys are fine. Okay, so Alexis has the ball. Alexis with the shot. Off the back of the rim. Out of bounds. Millis's ball and looks like four new players for Millis are coming in the game. So it's just under three minutes left to go in this first quarter and the score is still 0-0. Westwood still gonna stay in man and still gonna pressure. Oh, good D by Rory. Good ball movement. Westwood's gotta keep moving. Gotta get the zone moving. And the best way to beat a zone is by passing. Jump ball, white ball. New subs are coming in. Looks like Alexis and Victoria Vela are coming out of the game. Okay, so now Millis is in a 2-3, also known as 23. Good play call. Layup just short, just off the front of the rim, but Rory comes up with it, passes it back out. Good pass in. Foul on number 15 of Mills, that's Julia S. So Millis is still staying in their 2-3, which has been working very well, both their zones that they've been playing, either it be a 1-3-1 or a 2-3, has kept Westwood scoreless so far in this game. Good take, just short of the rim, good hustle. White was out of bounds, so it's gonna be red ball. Westwood still pressing. Millis. Looks like it's a man press. So they could, oh, no, never mind. There's a little trap involved. It's been 10 seconds, so it's gonna be Westwood ball. So for all of you at home watching, once your team gets possession in the back court, you can, you only have 10 seconds to get it over into the front court or the other half of the court. And if you don't, then it's the other team's ball. Nice. Good ball movement. Good rebound by 43 of Westwood. That would be Maria. Good bucket. Two points for Westwood. So it's going to be Millis's ball still. Uh, Millis gets in bounds. They should clear out. Let her dribble it up. Yep. Speed on both ends. Foul on 42 of Westwood. Nikki. So it looks like Millis is running stack from out of bounds. Uh, good play call. It's going to be out of bounds, and it's going to be red ball. Stack. Way to get the ball in bounds. That's a typical play that pretty much every team has in the back, their arsenal, just so that they can, you know, get the ball in bounds. I definitely have used that for many of years. Okay, so number two has the ball for Millis. She passes it to 13. 13 passes it down low to 11. Jump ball. Red ball. Okay, so they're gonna be running Kansas now. And Westwood is an all oh man. Oh, good steal. They're going the other way, Westwood is. Good take, good strong take. Red foul on 52. That would be Bridget. And number 42 will be shooting a pair. So Nikki will be shooting a pair at the line. Now Nikki wants to attend Stanford. And this is her fifth year in the WBA. 
Okay, so it looks like Maria is coming out and Meredith is back in. 38.2 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Oh, just off the back of the rim. Good speed by number 13 of Millis. That is Caroline M. Good hustle by Meredith. Watch what's going the other way. Don't force pivot, pivot. It's gonna be out of bounds, and it's gonna be Millis's ball. So looks like Westwood's running Wolverine as their press. Okay, so this press looks like a trap. In press. Good hustle by Westwood. It's gonna be another jump ball with 2.5 seconds left to go in this quarter, and it's gonna be white ball. Good shot from the red by number 42 of Westwood. That is Nikki. Just a little too hard off the backboard. So we are going into our second quarter and the score is three nothing in favor of Westwood. Now Millis has been playing zone pretty much this whole game and it's been working very well for them. They just have one defensive breakdown where Westwood was able to score off of that. Um, Westwood it has been pressing the whole game and it has been playing man. Now Mandy, their Mandy is looking very good. They're able to fight through the picks and not get backdoored or anything. They are staying in front of all the cutting, the cutters that Millis has thrown at them. So it's gonna be red ball coming back in uh, to start the second quarter. And looks like the coaches of both teams are having some very serious conversations in their huddle, running over some plays, running over some defenses. So the first whistle blew, so that means they should be headed back onto the court soon. Okay, so red ball. Red ball going the other way. And eight minutes until half. The fouls for both teams are currently three for Westwood and four for Millis. So the ball is in play, second quarter has just begun. Good ball pressure. So it's gonna be Westwood ball. It's gonna be Westwood ball. Looks, looks like Millis now is in a three two. They're running a lot of different zone defenses. Best way to beat a zone defense is by passing. So Millis is going the other way now. Number one has the ball. Looks like Westwood might be in a 3-2 now. I'm not positive yet. No, they are. They're in a high 3 2. So that means Mills is going to have to play a zone offense, which they haven't done yet this game because Westwood's only been in man. Okay, so it looks like both teams are playing the same defense, a 3 2. Good ball movement, good look. Reverse Gotta keep the go. swinging the ball back and forth. Good move by 42 of Westwood. That'd be Nikki. Got some in between the legs, did spin move. Okay. Timeout. Millis with 6.35 left to go in this first half. 
Okay, so it looks like Westwood has the momentum as of now. Uh, they are playing very well in defense, scoring, moving the ball very well throughout Millis' zone. Millis is getting talked to right now about ball movement in defense. Maybe they'll change up their defense from a zone to a man. But they haven't done that so far. But we'll see. So Millis is back on the floor. Wes was back on the floor. And Westwood is still pressing. That's it, Brian. Talk. Get there. That's you, Maddie. Good press. Looks like it's a somewhat of a trapping press. Okay, good ball movement. Yep, so Westwood's definitely in a 3-2. Millis has to pass the ball. White 34 with the foul. Timeout, white coach with 6.10 left to go in the second quarter. So it looks like uh, if Westwood keeps playing zone, they're doing a decent job as of now. Um, Millis definitely would want to pass through the zone more because the best way to beat a zone defense is by moving the ball quickly and getting, which will cause the zone to get out of place. So, I wonder what Westwood's working on now. Um, they're probably talking about another defense maybe, or some ball movement that they're gonna work on on offense. Okay, so Millis is back on the court. Now it's Westwood's turn to join. It's gonna be Millis's ball on the side. So it's Millis's ball on the side. Everyone was a little bit confused. They were all walking as if it was Russell's ball. But it's actually Millis's. Okay, so good, good hands. Way to get in between the pass. Okay, so Millis is still in their three, two. Good passes, hard passes. Good shot, good shot, just a little long. Looks like number 42 may have came down on the defender's foot when she landed from her shot. Yep, good ball pressure by Westwood. So, looks like Millis is trying to dribble through this. Uh, the best way would probably be pass through it, or if you're gonna dribble through it, clear out and just have a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Good bounce pass. Okay, travel on number 20 of Millis. That is Caroline P. So here comes Westwood, going the other way. Good bounce pass to number 34. 34 passes it to 44. 44 passes it to 43, and Maria's with the basket. Now Maria, number 43, attends Thurston Middle School. When she's older, she would love to go to Brown University. She plays volleyball, and she's been in the WBA for six years, and she likes the beach, and she also loves to surf. I wish I could serve, I cannot. Okay, so it looks like Victoria Vela is bringing the ball up, she passes it. Good hard defense by Millis. Passes it to 53, 53 passes it to 34. Keep moving Westwood, keep moving the ball. Good bounce pass, that was a good curl bounce pass. Nikki with the layup. Just short. Number 43 with the rebound, just short. Number 53 with the basket for Westwood. That'd be Maddie Lyons. 
Maddie Lyons, when she's older, wants to go to UMass Amherst. She plays soccer and lacrosse. This is her fourth year in the WBA. And she was also born on leap day. So she has only had, so she has a birthday every four years. Number 34 with the shot. And she scores. So just about 3.40 left to go in this first half, second quarter, and the score is currently 11-0 in favor of Westwood. So it looks like Westwood's still in a zone, still in their zone defense. She has been working very well for them, as well as their man defense. Okay, so. It's gonna be white ball and subs in. So it looks like four new players for Westwood and four new players for Millis. Good hustle, girls. Good hustle. Fresh air. Good hustle. Westwood ball on the side. Good ball movement. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, it's white ball. Oh. Yeah. Meredith with the basket. Good basketball IQ there. Wes was definitely amp amping up the pressure in their zone. Number 13 with the shot, just a little off. Foul on white. 44, that is Victoria Vela. It's going to be Millis's ball underneath the hoop and Westwood is still in their 2-3. Good ball movement, number one for Millis with the shot just off the rim. Good pass, gotta keep moving the ball. Good save, good save, but it ends up in Millis's hands. Millis is going the other way. So they're still playing in their 3-2. Westwood actively playing defense. Here you go. So it's gonna still be red ball. Still in 3-2 and Millis is running Cyclone. Looks like they're trying to overload one side. But if that happens, then you're gonna have like 10 players on one side of the court, which is a lot. Okay, looks like Westwood's extending their 3-2 a little bit. Good hands by Meredith. Alexis comes up with the ball. Passes it to Victoria Vela. Victoria Vela passes it to 30. Katie with the hoop. So Victoria Vela for Westwood, she is number 44. She would love to go to BC when she's older. She plays town soccer as well as club. Her brother Michael plays Metro West for sixth grade. And this is her fifth year in the WBA and she desperately wants a dog. Now Mills called time out with 116 left to go in this first half. And the score is currently 15 nothing in favor of your Westwood Wolverines. So Westwood's definitely been playing with a lot of intensity, definitely been putting the pressure on Millis. So I think it's just Millis definitely needs to start hitting some shots. They've been shooting a lot, have been getting good looks. The shots just haven't been falling yet. Westwood definitely has the momentum on their side, but I feel like Millis will be, is a team that could strike at any moment. So here comes Westwood. What? Yep, definitely. And here comes Millis.
Balls in. Okay, so number one for Millis is bringing the ball up. That is Julia P. Good trap by Westwood. Good ball movement by Millis. Julia with the drive, just off the side of the rim. Good hustle, foul. On white, 33. It'll be a one and one for Millis because Westwood is in the bonus. So every single time we foul, Millis will be shooting for the rest of this half. 13, oh, just in and out of the hoop with her foul shot. So Westwood's going the other way. Good passes, just a little too high. So it's gonna be Millis's ball with 44.4 seconds left to go in this first half. Sorry about that. I sneezed. Anyways. Looks like Victoria Vell is bringing the ball up for Westwood. Passes it to Meredith. Meredith passes it to number 50 who passes it to Alexis, which is a little long. Good hustle by Meredith. And 53 is going the other way. Not 53, 13. Just short. 10 seconds left in the first half for Westwood. Five seconds. Three, two. Westwood, number 30 with the bucket to end the half. That is Katie. So thank you for joining us for this first half of play. It is 17-0 Westwood over Millis. And thank you for Matt Bergman for filming this first half. We will see you in the second. Hello, welcome back to this game against the Westwood Wolverines and Millis. This is an eighth grade girls game and Westwood is coached by Alan Hamden, assisted by Eric Drager and Mike Mason. Millis' head coach is Mike. It's gonna be Westwood ball coming in. The score is currently 17 to nothing in favor of your Westwood Wolverines. Thank you again for Matt Bergman for filming this game. And thank you to our sponsor, Veniza's restaurant. So number 24, the pass. Number 24 with the shot, so close, just off the front of the rim. So Chloe's standing because I think this is maybe one of the only games she's played in this season. And as you saw, Alexis just threw it out of bounds just to get Chloe Hicks out of the game because Chloe just had surgery on her elbow. So it's going to be Millis' ball off of that nice gesture. And there goes the foot race, down to save the ball. Okay, so Westwood's hustle got, gave them this offensive possession. Passes it to 30, uh, just off the rim. Number 43 with the rebound and put back, but just a little off the rim. Wait, 43 with the foul. It is Millis' ball. So, looks like Westwood's still in their 3-2. Millis is playing a three, one, one, maybe for offense. Oh, shot by number one. Little too hard. You need help? Okay. So they're trying to clear the foul board. Wait, fouls zero, zero. Nope, one, zero, Westwood. So it's gonna be Melissa's ball still. Ha oh, good. Westwood still in his own. Good head fake by number one. Number one with the shot, just off the rim. 
At number 34 for Westwood's going the other way. Oh, good block. Westwood's in the foot race. Number 20 with the running lamp, a little too hard off the backboard. Looks like they're running Cyclone, Millis's. Okay, so ball movement, cutting, all in Millis's offense to try to break Westwood's 3-2. Oh, good hustle, good hustle. Subs in for both sides, and it's going to be Red's ball still. Okay, so it looks like they're running Baylor. So close to a backcourt. Number two with the shot, number two off the rim. Shot again, just a little short. Victoria Vela comes with the rebound, Alexis is going the other way. Oh, good find. Foul. So Molly will be shooting a pair. So Molly also attends the Thurston Middle School here in Westwood. She would love to go to Stanford when she's older. She plays lacrosse, soccer, volleyball, as well as skis. Her sister Ella in seventh grade and Olivia in fourth grade both play for the WBA. This is her fifth year and she loves to read as well. She drained the second one. So Millis is going the other way. So it looks like Westwood's all over on defense. Like active hands. Passes it. Oh, good, good ball movement, good ball movement. It's gonna be Westwood's ball though, because the ball rolled out of bounds. Good pass by Meredith. Meredith passes it back to Alexis. Alexis passes it to number th 33. Alexis gets the ball back. She passes it to Meredith. Meredith, good dish to Victoria. Vic Three second violation on Westwood. It'll be Melissa's ball. Oh, that was a good play call. They expanded the defense. Oh, good layup try. Just a little short. Number two with the shot. Number two a little off. 13 with the shot off. 11 the shot. Just a little too high off the backboard. And number two. Millis is still working the ball around. Good steal by Alexis. She takes it in for the layup, and she scores a pair. So with just about four minutes left to go in this third quarter, it is 20-0 Westwood. Good ball movement by Millis. Looks like they have a baseline runner. So it looks like Lexi, Maria, and Victoria are coming out of the game. So new lineup in for Westwood. Hopefully we'll keep up the defensive intensity. Okay, so it looks like number 33 is in. That would be Molly Mason. Molly Mason, number 42, which is Nikki Drager, is back in the game for Westwood as well. So it's 53, Maddie Lyons. Good ball movement, good ball movement by Millis. Passes it back, 13 passes it back to one. One passes it to two, two passes it to 15. Now this is great ball movement by Millis. They're ma really making the defense of Westwood their zone move a lot on defense. Foul on Westwood. 
Westwood 33 with the foul. Number 11, Sophia of Millis will be shooting a pair at the line. Now, Rory McDermott of Westwood, she's number 34. I don't see her on the court, but she really wants to be a neurosurgeon when she's older. That's pretty cool. And she would want to be at, at Mass General Hospital. She also plays volleyball and wants to attend Stanford. I wish I could be a neurosurgeon. That takes some real talent. Oh, good ball movement by Westwood. We just hit under the three minute mark left in this third quarter. Okay, so number 42 with the layup. She grabs her own rebound and Meredith ends up with it. 42 with the shot. She's a lefty, folks. 51, Meredith with the shot. Westwood sprinting back. Millis, number two with the shot, just a little too hard off the backboard. Number 13 of Millis, that is Caroline M with the first basket for them. This, oh, Rory McDermott's coming back in and so is Alexis for Westwood. Okay, so it looks like four people for Millis are coming in. Two people are coming in for Westwood. And Rory McDermott, the neurosurgeon, is back in the game. Okay, so Westwood still got to move the balls. Move the ball. Good shot by Alexis. That was a bank. Three pointer by Alexis bringing the Westwood score to 23. Just under two minutes of play left in this third quarter. Good defense by Alexis. Good ball movement, good ball movement, good trap, good trap. And Westwood comes up with it. So the fouls for this half are even at two a pair for both Westwood and Millis. Millis dropped back into a 2-3. Okay. So they're running, no play. Oh, good ball move, B ball handle by 42. It's okay. Here comes Millis. I smell a comeback. Maybe? Okay, so looks like Millis is still in a 2-3. So Westwood has want, gone five out with a baseline runner. Oh, that shot a little too long. Oh, just a little too hard off the back rim. They're gonna reset, I believe Westwood is. Good idea, good idea by Westwood. Just a little too hard of a pass to handle. So it's gonna be Millis's ball with 37.3 seconds left in this third quarter. Good D, good D by Westwood. Millis keeps moving. Good defense, good defense by Westwood. The ball keeps moving for Millis and they got a shot off. So just off the back of the rim. Oh, uh, good, good D by Westwood. Millis comes up with it. Travel. So it'll be white ball with 6.8 seconds left to go. And if I were them, I would roll the ball. They didn't roll the ball, but it's okay. Alexis with the three, a little long. So it is the end of the third quarter, people, folks. At home, it is 23 to two in favor of your Westwood Wolverines. So it looks like team fouls are even at a pair, 2-2. Two -two. Um, we're going into the fourth quarter. Millis definitely needs to get a run going if they wanna have a chance to come back in this game. Definitely need to hit some shots. They're getting good shots. They're just not falling. Westwood's back out and ready to go. Millis is still talking. They're definitely going to pick up the defense. 
So let's go Wolverines. And Melis is still talking. They're probably, I wonder if they're gonna press them. I mean, they have nothing to lose. I would press them, see what Westwood does with it. And if it doesn't work, just keep dropping back into their zone. But you never know what they're gonna do. It's gonna be red ball coming in. I would, if I was the Mills coach, I'd just tell them to keep playing tough. Leave it all out there and they still got playoffs. Playoffs start this week for the town basketball or like Metro West or travel basketball, I guess. So Millis is ready to go. They are just coming out on the court. And the fourth quarter is on its way. Okay, so Westwood is in a man now, which is good. I mean, they start off this game in a man and it worked very well for them. Good ball movement by Millis. Good take by number 13 of Millis. Just a little too high off the backboard, but number 20 of Millis comes up with it. Who passes it back to 13? Number one of Millis ends up with the ball. She does a little runner. Fouled by Meredith of Westwood. Number one, Julia P. of Millis will be shooting a pair. So, Meredith Doherty, we haven't talked about her yet. Uh, she attends Thurston Middle School. She would love to go to Tufts University when she's older. She plays volleyball and lacrosse as well, which is basketball. And her brother, Eamon, plays for Westwood High School. This is her seventh year in the WBA and she loves to travel. Good ball movement by Millis. Good defense by Westwood. Got to keep moving, Millis. Got to keep moving. Oh, good take. Just a little high. It's going to be white ball. As of now, there's a 20-point advantage in favor of Westwood with 7.08 left to go in the game. Good ball movement. Good ball movement. Jump ball, white ball, sub. So it looks like Chloe is coming back in. Just short of the hoop. Chloe, that is. Oh, shot by number 13, just a little too hard off the backboard. Chloe's running with the ball. Look at Chloe. Take it, Chloe. Chloe with the shot, just off the rim. And the layup. Sub in for Westwood. So Millis scores their second basket of the game. It is 23 to five in favor of Westwood with just about six minutes left to go in this first half. I mean the second half. 53 with the two, with the deep two pointer. For Westwood that is. I'm looking at this sheet of paper they gave me and these kids want to go to very good schools. They want to go to University of North Carolina, BC, Stanford, BU, Tufts, and UMass Amherst. Some good schools. Westwood's got a bright future ahead of them. 
Okay, so Westwood's still playing man. Now this Westwood team has been very solid on their defensive, on the defensive end. So it's gonna be white ball off of the out of bounds. And I see Coach Orlando walking. Coach Orlando, very uh, respectable coach in the WBA. She ha also has a club team, Ozone. Oh, good hustle, good hustle. Good take by number 13 of Medway. That is Caroline M. Scores 25-7. Oh, good hustle. Good hustle by both ends. It's gonna be Millis's ball though. So it's gonna be Millis ball coming in. Well, coming up the ball. Good ball movement by Millis. Good ball movement. Okay, so Westwood's going the other way. Other way. Okay. Good ball movement, good ball movement, good ball movement. So, it looks like it's gonna stay Westwood's ball. Put this on. Okay, so I have a special guest with me. It's Ella Orlando. Ella Orlando, say hi to the people at home. Hello. Yeah, so Elle is the daughter of Nikki Orlando. Her older sister is Ava Orlando, and her younger sister is Georgia Orlando. So Elle is going to help me commentate the last couple minutes of this game. <laughs> so Elle, what have you been seeing while you've been watching? Uh, they did good, like, passing and shooting. Yeah, definitely. What about defense? How do you think uh, Wes was playing D? They did good, like, they're getting steals and stuff. That's good. <laughs> oh, foul. Foul? So, number 13. Of what of Millis, that's Caroline M will be shooting a pair, I believe. So the score is 25-7 in favor of Westwood. 401 left to go in this game. So what have you been seeing out of Millis? Uh, they did good passing, and one time they did a good pass, and they took a good layup, and they played good defense. Yeah, they do. And they're not giving up either, which is... Very good, because sometimes teams, you know, get frustrated. But not this team. This team's fighting. So I think it's a three-second call. So it's going to be Melissa's ball. You know you can put that the other way. It's so cute. Okay. Okay, so Melissa's mm -hmm. subbing. Huh? Ella is laughing. <laughs> So it's going to be Mills' ball, and looks like Westwood is still playing man, I think. Yeah, they are. Let's go with it. Oh, good cut by number two of Millis. Good ball movement. Number 13 with the shot. Just off the backboard. Westwood's going the other way. Now this team's doing some great things. Great ball movement. Meredith, too. Just a little too hard off the backboard. That was a good pass. Well, good idea, wasn't it, Elf? Yeah. So what have you been seeing in the last couple minutes of this game? Um, they did a good pass. Westwood got a good steal. And yeah, they're taking good shots. Ooh, that was a deep three. It's okay, it's gonna be Westwood's ball. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Uh, my sister Ava has a game after this game. She does. Who's she playing? She's playing King Philip. Nice. 
And your mom coaches, right? Yep. Good ball movement by Westwood, taking their time. I like that. Good shot, just off the rim. Millis is playing some still very good D. Good rebound by number one of Millis, and they're going the other way. Good idea, good idea. Oh, good seal, right? That was a good yeah, seal. Yeah. So, do you think uh, Millis is playing man or zone right now? Uh, they're playing zone. Nice. Basketball IQ right here at its finest. Ava, I mean, sorry, L Orlando. <laughs> Foul with a minute 55 left to go in the game. Number 12 will be shooting a pair. So how's your season been going? Good. Good, Good. winning a lot? Mm-hmm, we're undefeated. Nice. Okay, so 33 for Westwood's coming in and 34 for Westwood's coming out. Oh, wow. Num oh, just off the front of the rim. And number 20 is going the other way from Millis. Oh, little elbow. <laughs> That's okay. Good ball movement. So now is Westwood playing man or zone? Zone, I think. Yeah, that's. You sure? No, man, man, man. Yeah. Good hustle by Meredith. She's all over the court. She's always diving for those loose balls. So it looks like Alexis is coming in. So how's your sister's team been doing, Al? Good. Good? Are they undefeated like you? I no, no, no. No? More people coming in. Minute 25 left to go in this game. Oh, good ball movement by Westwood. Great ball movement. Ooh, that was a good pick, wasn't it? Yeah. So what have you been seeing? Uh, they do good passes, and they take it to the hoop really good. Which team? Uh, Millis, and then Westwood does good passes and shoot it. Yeah. Oh, that was a good tip by Millis. Short. With a shot that's short. It's okay, though. They're fighting for the ball, and Millis comes up with it. Now, 36 seconds left in this game. And your sister's team is preparing to come on mm -hmm. to dominate. Oh, good take by number one of Millis. She gets her own rebound, puts it back up. So they can just take it up and run the clock. They can just run the clock. So it's still going to be white ball, 14.4 seconds left in this game. Meredith grabs the ball off the inbounds. Victoria dribble. Oh, good, good hand still. Millis is still fighting all the way to the end. And there was a shot. And it was off the front rim. And that is game. So the final score is 26 to 7. Um, I'm Allie. I'm Al. And thank you again for Matt Bergman for filming this game. Thank you to our sponsor, Veniza's Restaurant. And we will see you next time.